All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to find out just how badly you want to get better. Because this workout I call the fives. And it is critical to you reaching your potential, not only for club head speed, but for consistency. Again, Supersonic X10. Turn on the speedometer. And we're going to use the resistance dial a lot here. What we're going to do, and the reason I call this the fives, we're going to do five swings with five different resistances. We're going to do five light, around one or two. We're going to do five medium, around five or six. And we're going to do five hard, around nine or ten. Then we're going to go back down the scale, do five more medium at five or six, and finish off with five light at one or two. We're going to do five swings at each resistance level, right-handed, Here's the drum roll, bada boom, and left handed. So it's 50 swings. You do this at home, you do it in the evening, you do it when you have a chance to get yourself worked out, you're gonna get your heart beat up, you're gonna have a cardio workout, you're gonna make your golf game better. So we're gonna start off on two. Make five swings. Once you finish those five, make five. Left-handed, go to four, five, or six in the mid-range. Do exactly the same thing. Do it right-handed. Do it left-handed. Now we're going to go up to the big boy numbers, nine or ten. Again, start off right-handed. Five of those. This will be the hardest for you. When you get to the max number, don't be surprised if it's difficult to get the thing to release. Again, I've been doing this a while, so I can do it. When you get to, see I'm out of breath. This is a workout. When you get to a level where you cannot release the lag slider, keep doing it, okay? Don't stop. Just because it didn't release, Keep making your swings. Eventually, with practice, you will get to be able to release it at nine or 10. I'm only halfway through now. Now I gotta go back to the medium and again to the light. And most importantly, I want you to finish off with the light because if you took note of your club head speed when we started this program, mine was about 106. Now I'm going to come back and swing it as fast as I can after going through the scale of fives. One seventeen. That's how quickly you can improve. Now it won't last. In order to make it last, you got to do it over time. But it shows you just how much you can increase your speed by doing the drill called the fives.